Hi everyone, so let's continue our journey and in the couple of videos we are going to talk about Nessie Swim testing with the Type RM, Sequelize, Mungoose, Prisma and then we will start our journey with the end-to-end -end testing. So in the NSCS you can write end-to-end -end testing with the super test or Pactum and we are going to build test suit. We are going to run the end-to-end -end test tests on CI-CD pipeline. We are, we are going to run the coverage and we are going to cover all the scenarios of end-to-end -end testing. So let's stay tuned. Let's say you are using uh, a SQLize as an ORM and you want to write a unit, a unit test. SQLize can interact with either a MySQL or a Postgres or any different database. So in SQLize, what we do? If you uh, look into the SQLize implementation, how it works with the NestJS, you need to use a NestJS SQLize and you need to use these additional packages, SQLize TypeScript. So if I search SQLize, then these are the three primary packages, SQLize, Nest is SQLize and SQLize TypeScript because SQLize itself doesn't have the TypeScript support. So you need to have an additional this SQLize TypeScript module added. Now inside a simple app module, you are doing a SQLize module dot for root. It is same as type or module dot for root. You are passing the URL here. It is URI synchronize and the logging. So this is the initialization of a SQLize module against your database. So here we are using Postgres container. So these are the different methods for feature, for root, for root async. When you, are, when you want a dynamic initialization, you can do for root async. So Postgres container is already up and running. We can simply pass the URL. So this, is, this will initialize the SQLize module. And inside cat module, we can do SQLize module dot for feature. And cat is the model we are looking for because we don't have many entities that there is only just one which has a name, age and grade. And then we will look into the services, what service we are writing. So this is a simple service where we are injecting an inject model cat. Okay, this is important. I mean, in all different examples of either Prisma, Mongoose, Type RM, SQLize, the, the main logic you will see is inside a service. Service will have something dependency injected, either repository or a Mongoose model, SQLize model, or a Prisma service, right? So here we are injecting a cat a model. And what cat model is doing? Once you have a cat model, it is giving you the repository instance this dot cat repo find one, this dot cat repo find one, this dot cat repo create, this dot cat repo delete, update. All these methods are there which we just need to play around. So you can see all the SQLize methods are available here. Save, create, uh, find, find one, find, update, delete. So we'll just stick to the find all. And here we can see create, get, get, and update and delete, update and destroy. So this is the interface which you need to provide a mock implementation while writing the test for the service. Because controller is dependent on service. So there you don't need to provide a you just you, you will be mocking the cat service there all the methods of cat service here cat service is dependent on the sqlize model so you will be doing a mock implementation of sqlize interface here it is running uh, test cases are we will run the test cases application is running build is passing here we will write a simple test and test is nothing but a plain and same implementation which we have done in the last uh, video Luckily, it is also using the same method get model token, which is coming from NestJS SQLize, and this is the mock implementation we have provided. So this is important here, like how get model token is providing the interface. Get model token, and here these are the different methods: find all, find one, create, remove, update. So here we have provided our own implementation. So instead of going and talk to the SQLize for getting data, updating, and deleting. We will be just calling these mock methods. We are just getting the model and service get model token. And here, service.get gets should be equal to test get because in this method we have already defined okay, find all will return cat array, create will return test cat object, update will return test cat object. So we can just call the actual method of service and then assert okay, this is returning a cat array, this is returning cat object. This is returning a 
simply object and then you can also do a spy on here we are doing a spy on model dot find one and when you are calling service dot get one it is actually calling the find one method so here we are saying saying expect find one find spy have been called with these arguments or have been called these many times in in the destroy stuff we are calling find spy so similarly in the update delete create this is the same implementation so i don't want to repeat all the the steps which we are performing here and i can just run the simple test and pm run test inside the direct directory because we are running a unit test and all the unit tests are passing i can also run the unit test for the the previous example npm run test and the example with the mongoose all all tests are passing so now in the next video let's talk about uh, others also like let's say we will change the implementation we will use a prisma or a mongoose and here we are using get model token but when you are writing a test case for the controller what we are doing because controller is just dependent on service it has nothing to do with the mongoose so we need to provide a mock version of our cat service like we need to provide a methods get cat add cat uh, remove cat and we need to provide a mock implementation using just dot function mock return value mock implementation this is a function and, and you will be returning just as a mock json object and then assert that okay so this is just a simple controller spec. I will be sharing these examples on the GitHub, so you can also take a look uh, onto these.